Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of The Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. I hope you guys are all as excited for this as I am. I am jumping out of my seat with excitement to jump into this game. So before I tell you their story and go into where they're living and their jobs and all of that stuff, I thought I would just show you their outfits and the, and the Sims in general. I just thought I'd uh, introduce them. So this is Lacey Mansfield. She is, her ambition is to be fabulously wealthy and she is business savvy. She's ambitious, creative and romantic. And this is her first everyday wear. I really like the lime green. I thought it really matched her personality, you know. Uh, this is her second everyday wear. I'm sticking to the Sims 4 base game at this point because I do have my favourites and I did pre-make her before Get to Work came out and I didn't want to change her because I really liked what I put her in. Um, this is her Get to Work um, content. Um, I added three more outfits so I could showcase some Get to Work outfits. Um, I really like this top and these shorts together and I put on the little slip on pumps as well and a little bracelet and I think it looks really nice. I might take off the necklace because I feel like it's a bit too much. I feel like it looks a bit more uh, chilled out now. Um, this is her fourth everyday wear. I absolutely love these trousers. I can't believe I'd never discovered them before. They are like high-waisted cropped trousers. I think they're stunning and I love this grape colour. I love purple. Um, and again, using the same top and shoes and this jumpsuit, which I think is stunning. Um, again, I'm going to take the necklace off because I feel like it doesn't go... I feel like that makes her neck look much longer. Um, so yeah, that, that is her everyday wear. Um, I think I might put her in this one. And this is her formal attire, which I think is stunning. I've never done this dress in green, but I think it goes really nicely with her hair. Uh, this is her athletic attire. She does have two athletic attires. I really wanted to use these galaxy leggings, so I put them on her as well. Uh, this is her sleepwear, really fancy and nice. And this is her party wear, which I just think is beautiful. I <laughs> love this sim. This has got to be one of the prettiest sims I have ever made. Not to be vain or anything, but is she not stunning? Like, I wish I was her. I want to be her. She's so pretty. Um, and this is her swimwear, going with the electric, elect I want to say electric, a luminous yellow, and a little hat and some yellow sandals. So yeah, that is Lacey Mansfield and her clothes. And this is Greg. He is her husband. Uh, we will go through the whole story in a second. Uh, he is a master chef and an essence of flavour. Um, yeah. Um, he's creative, a foodie and romantic. They have got two of the same traits because I wanted them to be compatible. Um, this is his first everyday wear. This is his second, this is his third, and this is his fourth. And I thought for his fifth, we could dress him together. Because I do want to give him a get-to-work outfit. I have gone through um, <clears throat> all the content in a Kaz video. But I really wanted to give him that t-shirt, and I haven't done it. Where is it? They had this, yeah, this. I really wanted to give him this. In a, maybe this light colour which is really nice and maybe some shorts or something or maybe some no maybe these a nice like light outfit I think I think the darker ones definitely add more tone and some little shoes to wear he definitely does not suit those uh Maybe those cropped trousers are really awkward on men. Maybe these little slipper things. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now he has a get to work outfit. Uh, this is his formal attire, his athletic attire, his sleepwear. You gotta love those boxes. Come on. Uh, his party wear and his swim attire. And this is their story.
that is the story of Lacey and Greg. Just to give a little explanation because you're probably confused, like, how is that a story? But, um, basically, she went to his bakery one day and she met Greg, the new bakery owner, who moved to Magnolia Promenade. And he wooed her and she fell in love with him and they went on a couple of dates and he won her heart, proposed to her in the beautiful secret world that is the Forgotten Grotto, her favourite place. And they eloped immediately to Slivering Glen to get married and now they are moving into their first home so as I just said Greg does own his own bakery uh if you are from the UK you may know of where I got my inspiration from um there is a bakery in the UK called Greg's (laughs) I know original um so that it just it was the obvious choice guys it's the obvious choice do not judge me okay um but yeah this is their home uh it is in willow creek i was gonna i was thinking okay we've done a whole lp in uh in willow creek let's go away to springs this time but look how beautiful it is it just wouldn't have fit the scene in willow creek and i just couldn't get rid of the house so i had to have it um, they are, of course, very happy Sims. They've just been married. Um, and I have such an amazing storyline for this LP. I'm not incorporating aliens straight away, and I'm not incorporating all the careers straight away. I'm not going to get, like, ten Sims and give them all one of the careers, because I just feel like that is too overwhelming and too much. I'm going to do it in a story, and I'm going to set it all out nicely, and it's all going to flow, and you're going to get to see all all of the content throughout the game throughout the LP so if you want to see it all you are going to have to keep watching um so yeah uh I don't know what to do first I, this is glowing and I really want to press it want to open a retail store if not you can always buy a retail store from the phone yes I want to buy a retail store because as I was about to say a minute ago Greg told Lacey to pursue her dreams and why is it okay not now um and Lacey's dream is to own her own lingerie shop uh so what's the game doing it's buying a lingerie shop now isn't it it's buying a shop now I built the shop I put screenshots up on Twitter if you are new to my channel I'm the most active tweeter ever um I do have other social media such as Instagram and uh Tumblr and all that stuff but why is it saying we don't have enough money right well nothing is stopping me from buying this how much is this one oh good cheapest uh <laughs> we're gonna have to do that in a second um i will sort that out i will get them all the money and then we can go and do that um but i do want to show you guys the house because i built this um so I want you to see the house. This is the living room. I did put screenshots up screenshots up on Twitter. Um, I am most active on Twitter. So if you are new to my channel, please go and follow me on Twitter. Because that is where I upload most updates on LPs and when I'll be uploading. And ch- LPs will be finishing or starting. Or screenshots of builds or what's to come. Literally, follow me on there and you will know everything. Uh, yeah, so I did put screenshots of my builds up on Twitter. Um, this is the living area with a nice big TV and some Easter eggs. Um, this is the kitchen where they're just hanging out in there. I had to make the kitchen good because Greg is our baker. He needs a good cooking space. Uh, I'll put the walls up so you can see it better. That's just the kitchen area. The stairs lead upstairs and through that door is the toilet. It was the tiniest little room so I just shoved a toilet in there. Here is the study. Um, These two are creative sims, so they will be doing some painting and some um, photography and all of that. Upstairs, if we come onto the landing, we have the bathroom, which is not my favourite bathroom in the world, but it will do. Here's the bedroom, with a little mirror in the corner there. If I put the walls up, you will uh, see. That's kind of small. This house is kind of small. Uh, And here is a balcony with a cupcake maker on it. I didn't know where else to put it, if I'm perfectly honest. It would not fit in the kitchen, so I had to show it out here. And here's the garden with some lovely little fountains spilling out from the flowers. I kind of 
put them there as they look like little sprinklers and at night it looks absolutely stunning when all the lights come on and the water spraying out from the plants and it looks so beautiful because they will be gardening they're going to need herbs for the baking and whatever else so you might want to plant the flowers and i've just put a little pool here um here is the garden that is dying um i have been playing the sims uh so they do have a few skills and that sort of thing um so I'm not like starting completely from scratch but I'm starting mostly from scratch uh, he's just going to use the toilet I think I've showed you the whole house now uh, so yeah I am going to sort out our money issues and when I am done we will go and buy a retail business so of course I cheated guys I had to what did you want me to do try and make 3,000 300,000 some other that was just never gonna happen so we are going to buy a retail store we are going to go and buy laces i've designed it everything perfectly and i've even got some beautiful paintings in our inventory to display so we can do a bit of decorating while i'm showing you guys around uh, today will be pretty much about Lacey and her starting her new business because her lovely husband has told her to pursue her dreams you know and that's what she's gonna do and that's what that's how they're gonna make their money don't worry I won't keep all this money I purposely gave them 10,000 simoleons to start off for their business and it turns out we need tens of hundreds uh, <laughs> so yeah I will get rid of it don't worry I don't really want to like cheat massively but if I wanted to get started then I had to I don't I don't want to spend half the LP just trying to get started like I want to jump into the game and show you guys everything so here we are at the um what let's put I don't know there we go the retail business has got a ton of money now so I'm in build mode right now but we're gonna go up to the top and here is the why is it called paddy wax emporium it needs to be called Lacey's lingerie <laughs> Lacey's that was my phone sorry guys I can't spell lingerie is that how you spell it okay we'll just call it okay we'll just leave it like that and if it's wrong then i will change it so sorry i just had to pause and answer the phone real quick literally all i've done is add two tails in here and uh got rid of a mannequin in the center because what's really disappointing about this is you're only allowed 10 mannequins per lot this really annoyed me because i've got three here that's six seven eight nine because i wanted two men's and then i have to have and then i need one downstairs for the photo for the photography studio so it was really awkward um so i just put one in the center but this is the retail store i built this myself i am very happy with it i'm not really like it doesn't look like the inside looks like it doesn't look as like modern and fancy and like you know you know what i mean but we've got some mannequins in the front here that need clothes we've come onto the shop floor we have got uh two men's mannequins here because oh okay this is hanging off the boys they were they wear underwear too so i'm gonna add some men's stuff and you just got some men's aftershave there we've got these little figurines figurines figures here which are really nice we've got some red candles this has kind of got an Anne summers victoria's secret vibe going on here uh we've got a mannequin in the center that's gonna have i don't know the most popular set or something on we've got these beautiful posters i've got three of these around here because i love them so much i put this little sticker here because i thought it was cool it didn't really fit but i really wanted to have it and then we've got three more mannequins in there um i need to move the lights because they're kind of all over the shop uh -huh, get it all over the shop not even funny <laughs> they're kind of in line now so yeah and we got the double doors and the little fire escape and some speakers going around because we're gonna have some music um, so yeah, and then we've got the tail point with two tails on, it's just in case we've got a bit of a queue going. Uh, and then if I put the walls down, we've got some changing rooms with some more of the posters in, and another changing room there, and two toilets, because you got to have toilets. Then if you go down these stairs, 
we have got the photo studio with a changing room area in it and the mannequin of the outfit they're going to be wearing or something um i love these mirrors because these are totally like changing room mirrors and then if you come over here we've got the photo booths where we will be taking photos i also want to put an easel a couple of easels because we were do doing say we were doing life drawing or something it would be really cool painting quality five painting quality seven painting quality four right we are totally unlocking this i don't even care right now i have learned this cheat off by heart bb dot ignore game game play unlocks entitlement and then if we go off it and go back on we can have whatever we want and we are having it because we want it um i didn't even know there were different kinds of painting needles we can put one there i kind of like this one this one's kind of pretty too i might just have a couple different ones and one there um, because we're gonna have some paintings on the wall we're gonna have some photos on the wall it's gonna be beautiful um i also had this idea to put in little booths um like this to display photos on so i, I don't know if you guys like that idea i thought it was kind of cool maybe two in the center to display photos and that sort of thing on them uh i kind of want three now because i cannot just have two this is an artist thing you cannot just have odd numbers like you can't have like just two you've got to have three <laughs> um and then put this wallpaper on maybe or maybe something more wooden so it looks like a pillar maybe something dark wood there we go and then on each one of these we'll have some paintings and some photos and that sort of thing um hopefully it doesn't come on up to on to upstairs nope i hope that i hope that if that doesn't look right like when i'm done i will just uh remove them i kind of want to remove them now i don't like them but i'm gonna give them a chance i'm gonna give them a chance so this is our fashion retail store um i'm pretty sure everything is uh all set to go uh, so let's go into live mode we're going to bring Lacey here because this is her shop and uh, she's going okay how do we like right this should be interesting change pose flirty we're gonna have a flirty one there and a flirty one there change pose flirty i'm gonna pause it because they're gonna go off and start doing stuff and then we're gonna have this one what's playful i guess is that is that <laughs> kind of sexy not really uh confident i like that one uh i'm not too sure about these the active one not really active we could have this and then we'll have a, then we'll have a playful one we'll kind of have these ones a bit wacky and then this one has got to be flirty actually no i kind of liked it neutral um someone's downloaded my bakery thank you very much what about the men's ones oh i like that no you can't be both going in the same direction oh yeah that looks cool and then uh there the upstairs mannequins and then we'll go downstairs and this mannequin in here i think she can say neutral yeah we'll keep you neutral right now we need to create an outfit for the centerpiece um create outfit for this for the mannequin so um with get to work comes mannequins with mannequins comes editing the mannequins so we can adjust these mannequins i'm gonna make my typical curvy 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 mannequin 
and how I make my sims. I don't know if her legs kind of look any good like that. She kind of needs to be a bit busty. She needs a bit more of a booty than that. Because she's going to be rocking out. It's such a shame we can't change their hair. Uh, I'm going to be rocking the underwear. So they're going to sleepwear. You can't put the... Ah, uh... oh, there we go. This is going to be our centerpiece. Because it matches the theme of the shop. And of course we've got to have the pink red bunny slippers. Because we've just got to. Um... Do we want any accessories? I mean... Haven't they got the little stocking things anymore? They used to have these little uh, sock things that kind of went on. Oh yeah, these. Should we have these on? But then they don't go with a the sock. Then they don't go with the slippers. I kind of feel like they should be red. I kind of want to take them off. <laughs> we might put them on another mannequin, but I don't think they go with hers. Oh, I'm going to put the slippers back on. Actually, no, I'm going to take them off. This has got to be the most perfect mannequin. This has got to be perfect. Now, you don't really wear a hat to bed, do you? Yeah, I'm going to wear this to bed. No. Um, I think that's everything. With a lingerie, it's kind of like very stripped back you know there's not much to it the uh, the bodice says it all I think her body looks perfect it might make her legs that's perfect I just wish you could change her hair that would be amazing so there's our first mannequin that we have changed and we might do a men's one as well um, we could do them all now, but then that would be so many loading screens and you guys will get bored. Um, I could go off camera and do it now real quick and then come back and let you see it. There we go, we've got our centerpiece. We won't, we won't be opening the shop today or anything, we're just still setting up. So he's just having a wee. He's doing some, I don't know what he's doing. Um, so what do we do? Purchase, wow that's an expensive outfit. Um, dress mannequin, change outfit, change pose. So we can't do, we can't do anything else. Can we, if we go over to the till, set store prices. No, we're not having a sale. Manage employees, employee uniforms. Oh my god, design female uniforms in career semi. Yes, right. We can also design uniforms. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. Right, can we have anything we want? We can have anything we want. Guys, what should we do for the uniform? I'm thinking this. This is perfect. But then I'm thinking, should I have them walking around in the underwear? That would be really mean, wouldn't it? That would be really mean. Uh, I can't really... I'm gonna definitely having them in these. Uh, these are my new favourite trousers. Hmm. We'll have them in black trousers. And... And this blazer. And what shoes? Hmm. Heels, of course. And that will be the employee uniforms. The trousers don't really match. And there we go. That will be the employee uniforms. Oh, they've got even they've even got styled looks. Look, no, that's horrible. Uh, but no, I think I like mine. So there we go. We've set our employee uniforms. Um, what else do we need to do before we open up shop? Um, we need to employ some people so we can see if we've got any... Um, I think... Do you have to put up applications? I don't know. Um, manage employees. Are you going to get off the toilet yet? What are you laughing at? 
yeah, the mannequins are naked. It's not their fault. <laughs> um, what are you? Manage employees. So we haven't got any current employees, but we have got some. We've got Oliver Wolf. Uh, I kind of don't want men. Is that really prejudice? Are we going to be running the store all on our own? Hmm. I'm not going to employ any of them. Why is she jumping? Oh, she's so happy about her new store. Um, purchase advertising. I think we should do this. Let's have a TV ad. Um, what else can we do? Set store prices. See, I don't, I don't, I think I'm gonna have... What does this say? Lacey just launched an ad campaign. Web advertising provides a quick initial rush of customers, but trails off... Trails... But trails off by the end of the campaign. TV advertising provides a consistent increase in customers for its duration. While it won't reach the same heights as web advertising, it won't drop off either. Right. Toggle for sale tag. What does that mean? Oh. No, it doesn't do anything. Why is my... Why have I got a little... Okay, anyway. What was I... Set store prices. See, that was kind of high for that. I think I'm going to have pricey markup. How much is it now? It's even more. Oh, God. Um, set store prices normal she looks in her element uh, how much is it now it's gone down well i want her to change outfits um every day is it every day three that i like yeah it is um yeah this is this is kind of pricey but i guess if we want to make the money then we've got to um what are you doing He's doing some painting. Right, so the last thing I'm going to do in our store is display our beautiful paintings down here. Did you not go to the toilet? Go to the toilet. I should really put a staff room. I didn't put a staff room. Oh my god. And there's no room for one either. Maybe we can fit one downstairs. I will do that off camera though because that might be boring but I will show you next time um, I'm gonna display some painting see these are some beautiful paint from reference things that um, should we put them on the pillars but if we put them on the pillars see we're never gonna see them because the pillars well look you put the walls like this oh no we are gonna see them but they're gonna be floating I think I'm gonna get rid of them pillars I just don't like them here are some beautiful paintings that um we've got absolutely tons of them trust me i'm not putting them all um don't worry we are not that vain we do not love ourselves that much but i'm trying to pick which ones to put upstairs and which ones to put downstairs um i think i'm definitely going to put this one upstairs and this one and and this one i'm going to put those three upstairs and i don't know if i want to keep this poster here like I think we need to jump into build mode real quick like this poster looks fabulous here but we kind of already got it twice so I'm thinking maybe have these here and then have the other one and uh, move it nicely so it's in the center now I want this one in the middle no, stay. This one in the middle here. This one here. And this one here. Doesn't that look fabulous? I love it. And then if we go downstairs, we can pick those two. Um, I'm, we've already got this one. So we can put that in our inventory. Um, I like this one where she's smiling. We could put this one. Oh my. Sorry, I just pressed the window key instead of the alt key. Oops. Um, put that one there. I like that one. Um, I like 
like this one. I like the one where she's smiling because she's got a pretty smile. We'll put one there and we will put this one maybe. And here to sort of showcase what the easel can do. And I think we'll put the rest away from for now. And when we feel like changing it up a bit, we've got plenty to choose from. We might even put a few in our house. So we've got six, pa six paintings there. I think that kind of looks ruined, like, kind of looks wasteful putting it under the stairs. So I'm going to put it in there. So we've got some beautiful decor now from paint from reference. I think they're really pretty. Um, it just shows whose store it is. Uh, is that everything for now? Apart from dressing the mannequins and setting up the store and getting an employee. Um, we've got plenty of money for our store so we shouldn't run out. Um, and I think that should be it. Um, set for sale. Okay, we can go around and set things for sale. Set for sale, set for sale, set for sale. This is already for sale. Okay, the mannequins are kind of like they know they're for sale, so you don't need to you don't need to press it for sale. Oh, she's so happy. Now they're for sale, now what do we do? No, they're just they're just for sale. <laughs> oh, these are for sale too. Set for sale, set for sale, set for sale. Set for sale. That's just a fire extinguisher. That's not for sale. I might put the paintings for sale. But do we really want naked pictures of ourselves around people's homes? Maybe we'll set... We'll put the rest up, but we'll put them for sale. Um, here. So let's go back into build mode. We'll put them up, but we'll put them for sale. So, like, we're not being vain. We're selling them. Where else could we put them? There's not really much room for any more. I guess we could um, keep them. I'll put the ones that I don't really like, actually, because then we can put the nice ones in our home. Um, so I like this one, so I'm going to keep it. And I like this one. No, and I like this one, so I'm going to keep it. And... I like this one so we can sell these even though that one's got a speaker going through it put the speaker up there and there we go we can set these for sale what else can we do to them oh is that it right there we go no you're not going to paint as well no and we can also create copies but but yeah, so that is our retail store. I've still got a few things for finish to finish, but hopefully for next time we can come back and we can have it all. What music is playing? Um, we will definitely have to have some romance playing because this is the vibe I'm getting from this store. I'll have all the mannequins set up and uh, it should look fabulous for our first shift in our retail store. So I hope you enjoyed my first part of Get to Work. I certainly did. I'm having so much fun with it. And I will see you in the next part, which I'm sure will be very soon. Bye, guys.